Hi Roboticist, today we are gonna talk about perception using Move It and Gazebo at the same time. So we will see how to interface a 3D vision sensor data to Move It. So uh, we have already created in the URDF file our camera and uh, this camera can be a sensor that can be simulated uh, in gazebo and uh, you can uh, interface uh, um, as a red green blue uh, death uh, sensor camera such as uh, kinetic uh, or intel real sense uh, using the open e launch package uh, so i have already uh, done a video uh, to um, model uh, this kind of camera I'm gonna put the link in the description down below so before to get started uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel hit uh, the notification bell uh, if you don't want to miss uh, uh, the next topic and if uh, you wanna master your career in robotics software engineering uh, check out uh, uh, my course uh, for beginners So now let's get started. So um, what uh, we can do is uh, uh, to spawn our uh, launch file that uh, uh, we have seen uh, in, in the last video. Okay, so up to now, here uh, nothing new. I'm gonna remember to you that uh, the camera has been put uh, here in this uh, uh, top side here and you're gonna see in gazebo as well okay here you are uh, what uh, uh, we uh, didn't uh, uh, see so far is actually uh, to uh, to see uh, what uh, this uh, sensor uh, actually see so uh, in order to 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 see that uh, so you can go to rvs and add and we're gonna add a topic uh, point cloud uh, 2 uh, which is gonna be um, here you are gonna find here in the rvs section point cloud 2 you can add and then you need to check the topic ah, um, before to continue I just want uh, to uh, check uh, if we can see the topic uh, um, RGBD a camera uh, death uh, image row um oh so let's let's have a look on that so ross topic list Okay, here we go. We have uh, the RGBD camera depth point and the RGBD camera depth uh, image wall. Okay, so we can select as a topic uh, RGBD camera depth points and uh, now we are gonna see what uh, the uh, sensor actually sees okay it seems that uh, in this particular case um, the uh, camera doesn't see the scene this is something that may happen if uh, uh, you the object that you want to detect or better the um, the 
uh, the scene that you, you want to detect uh, is uh, too far uh, from, from the camera. So what uh, uh, we can do is uh, uh, to uh, get uh, this camera more closer to the scene in order to allow the camera to see at least the object that needs to be picked. So if you want to do that, uh, we need to go uh, to the RD URDF folder and go uh, to our uh, Cobots uh, Mimic Chakra file that we have uh, uh, updated last time and uh, here in the main uh, Chakra file if you scroll down you're gonna see uh, the definition of the RGBD uh, sensor and this is uh, the origin and um, as you can see uh, this is uh, far 2.3 meters um, so uh, let's uh, go in the x direction 0 0.5 then let's keep it the y to 0 and uh, let's uh, um, decrease uh, the height of the position okay um let's try it again and now we should be able to visualize better the scene the object and the table by the point cloud data in rvs okay as you can see now, the camera is more closer to the scene. Okay, and let's add the point cloud to topics. And here you go. This is uh, the object that is uh, visualized thanks uh, to the point cloud data. So uh, then if you want to interface uh, the uh, sensor uh, data to uh, RV uh, to um, move it and then to gazebo what we need to do is uh, to update uh, some files uh, to uh, move it and in particular in the configuration file so if you remember uh, when we have uh, used the setup assistant in the, the section of perception uh, we have used um, the point cloud uh, topic and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, to check the um, sensor uh, underscore 3d yom file that has been generated automatically so let's uh, go uh, to the package cobot config which uh, I remember you has been automatically generated from the movie the setup assistant then let's go to config and uh, let's go to the sensor underscore 3d yom file okay as you can see this is the file that is automatically generated um, what uh, we could change uh, here is uh, the um, the topic uh, the point cloud topic that uh, uh, we would like to be the RGBD uh, camera depth point so let's modify it we can change uh, the padding office also uh, okay before to continue let's uh, analyze uh, each uh, um, configuration uh, what is gonna be uh, so um, the uh, point cloud topic which is the most important one is uh, a plugin that uh, uh, will listen let's say to this topic for point cloud data 
and then we have the maximum range uh, so this is the distance limit in a meter in which points above the range will not be used for processing so you will not use anything that will go uh, farther than five meters then we have the padded of padding offset um, uh, the, uh, the data that we have uh, modified and uh, this value uh, will be considered for robots link and attached object when filtering cloud containing the robot link like a self filtering then uh, we are going to have uh, the uh, padding scale uh, so this is set to 1 because uh, this value will also be considered while self filtering um, then uh, we are going to have uh, the uh, points uh, subsample um, so for example if uh, uh, the update process is low um, points uh, can be sub subsampled and um, if uh, we make uh, this value greater to one the points will be skipped uh, instead of uh, processed um, so since that uh, the scene is very simple uh, we can uh, uh, keep it to one and then finally we are gonna have the filtered crowd topic um, this is the final uh, filtered cloud topic, uh, the one that is filtered from uh, this uh, topic here. Okay, then uh, since that uh, we have done uh, here, what we need to do is, uh, uh, as we did uh, for the ROS controller, we have uh, created the, the uh, ROS controller YAM file and then we have created a, a Cobot uh, Movit Controller Manager. So we are gonna modify the Cobot Movit Sensor Manager. So if uh, we open this, uh, we need to update uh, this and we need to load uh, as a parameter the file that we have uh, just modified. So let's do it. So the last thing uh, what we need to do is uh, uh, to um, modify uh, the sensor manager dot, uh, dot launch file which uh, uh, was automatically generated. So he, as the name says we need to go uh, to the launch folder and click to sensor underscore manager launch and uh, uh, this uh, needs to be modified so this uh, we have already uh, we already uh, type in uh, the cobot movie sensor uh, manager launch file so this can be uh, commented out let's decrease uh, the optimal uh, resolution and then uh, this uh, is going to um, uh, to include uh, the Cobot uh, Movit uh, Sensor Manager that uh, we have uh, just uh, uh, updated here. Okay, so uh, the interface uh, um, should be completed. Uh, now we can test uh, uh, the Movit interface and launch a gazebo for perception using uh, the following command here. So now we can see uh, that uh, Hervis uh, has uh, a proper sensor support and what we can do is uh, to see the Octomap in front of the robot in the following RVs scenario here here we go
this is uh, the octomap that is uh, automatically uh, generated from uh, the point uh, uh, cloud to uh, topic so now we can see that uh, we have uh, an application or better a camera that uh, can sense uh, the environment and in particular can sense the object that that, that has to be picked and um, this uh, generated uh, octomap is continuously updated uh, when uh, let's say a new element appear in the scene and are used in the motion planning process to generate obstacle free path to avoid for example that the tcp or any link uh, of the robot uh, will be collide uh, with any object and uh, this is thanks uh, to um, the sensor uh, that uh, we have uh, interfaced uh, uh, with uh, Move It and Gazebo, which is of course uh, a camera uh, that is going to be RGBD and in particular a depth camera. Okay, that's all for today. Um, this is a uh, uh, um, this is the first video of a series that uh, uh, deals with the perception because I remember that uh, uh, till now we have uh, used only these uh, um, cobots that before to um, create a sensor uh, we just had only a, a manipulator and I remember you that uh, in order to have a real robot uh, has to sense the environment and uh, this uh, sensing can be done uh, from uh, a sensor and in particular a camera so stay tuned for the next uh, video where we are going to uh, pick the object by sensing uh, the position of the object using the data from this camera in particular the point to cloud topic Again, thanks for your attention. If you like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, this uh, will be very useful to support my channel and continue to do uh, this kind of uh, content for uh, robotics software engineering or uh, robotics uh, um, technician in general. And as always, uh, keep learning robotics uh, with Ross.